Hey guys, Venti here at Sensors Tech Forum and I'm gonna take you through the removal process of this nasty unwanted software. Now this video is gonna be composed of two parts. Automatic removal for the first part and then I'm gonna take you through how a manual removal would be done. So, uh, before we begin this video I'd like to say that you should never trust uh, sites that have no real people behind them or video guides and you should always make sure to back up your files before doing any removal by yourself and always use trustworthy sources make sure that these are real people behind these videos because many people do this for money and they may scam you now for the automatic removal we're gonna use the help and the power of an advanced anti-malware software to download it open your videos description and click on the description link it's gonna take you to our tailor-made removal guide for this specific threat. Now, then go ahead and click on the download button, which is gonna take you to the download page. It should start automatically, and when it does, simply open the installer. The installer is rather simple. All you have to do is choose your language, and then you're gonna have to click on OK, and then all you have to do is uh, click on continue, then agree with the policy, and click on install. When the install is finished, the scan should start immediately. Uh, all you have to do is click on finish and wait for the scan to complete. It's going to detect any cookies, malware, adware, objects that are tracking you and so on and so forth. When the scan is done, it's going to show you the detected items. All you have to do is mark them with your mouse and remove it. Now this is very convenient and a fast method to do it. It's as easy as that guys. Okay, so. Let's get on with the manual removal process. Now, for manual removal, first I'm going to show you how you can uninstall this thread in case it's installed in your computer as a program. You're going to have to type appwiz.cpl in your run window and you can open it by typing Windows button plus the key R. When you do that, it's going to take you to the programs and features. All you have to do is locate the suspicious program, mark it with your mouse and then click on uninstall. This will make sure the program is gone from your computer. And when the program is uninstalled, all you have to do is clear up your web browsers. Now I'm going to take you through most of the browsers. For Google Chrome, you're going to have to open Chrome and in your address bar, type Chrome, double slash, settings, and then clear browser data. This, this will open the clear browser data window, which when you open it, you're going to select on the time range, all time. And when you do that, you're going to tick everything besides passwords and other sign-in data. And then you're going to click on the clear data button. Easy as that. Now, you've cleared all the trackers and all the cookies that may be caching on your computer and tracking you. To clear any malicious extensions, you're going to click on the three dots on the top right, more tools, and then extensions. Locate any suspicious extensions and click on remove to get rid of them. And basically, that's it, guys. We've now taken care of how a removal would go with Google Chrome. Now let's go through Mozilla Firefox. For Firefox, you're going to have to open the browser and on the address bar, you're going to type about double dot support. This will open the support page. In it, you will find a button that is called refresh Firefox. You're going to click on that button to refresh all of the Firefox settings by default. It's going to take you to a fast process which clears cookies, browsing history and so on and so forth. Click on finish to finish it and as you can see here it says success. Firefox will save your old good configuration on your desktop so you can uh, locate any passwords or anything you may have missed if it's your default browser. For Microsoft Edge though, it's very simple to Chrome. So you're going to open it and in the address bar you're going to type the same thing, Edge, Settings and then clear browser data. This is also going to take you to a very similar to Chrome uh, window because Edge is based on Chrome. You're going to select all time, you're going to tick everything besides passwords and then you're going to clear now. And when it's done, you're going to clear of any extensions by again going on the right corner and clicking on extensions. This will take you to any suspicious extensions which you can detect and remove again just like Chrome by clicking on the remove button. And that's it. Now we've got Edge covered. The next browser I'm going to show you is Opera. An Opera browser, you're going to click on Opera and you're going to go to the address bar and then you're going to type Opera, double slash, settings, clear browser data. It's very similar to what Edge and Chrome 
uh, actually do. So you're gonna click on advanced and then you're gonna tick everything, select all time, you know the drill guys, like select everything, settings, hosted data and then click on clear data. And basically that's it for the browsers. So with this hopefully you should have get rid of this nasty AdWord thread. Thanks for watching guys. We hope this video helped you. We appreciate if you'd subscribe, comment. We respond fast to any comments, so make sure to ask us any questions if anything is not clear. Thanks for watching, guys.